Hi, it's Alex here. I wanted to make this quick video since today I found a really cool hidden feature in Fabric Data Pipelines that I have not seen mentioned anywhere and I couldn't find any documentation about this. So let me show what this feature is. Here we have a data pipeline with notebook function and invoke pipeline activities. And if you have been already building several data pipelines, you probably know that there is a possibility to define this retries for many activities like notebook and function activities. Basically, you can define these retries to almost any activity that executes something. But this is not the case with the invoke pipeline activity. At least we cannot see here in the UI a possibility to define those retries. But actually, we can do that. But for that, we need to open the pipeline JSON. And here we can edit the JSON configuration for this pipeline. And here we can see the invoke pipeline activity. And here we can actually see the possibility to define retries. And I have already actually defined one retry for that invoke pipeline activity, even though we cannot see that in the UI. And here we can see that for those other activities, we also have these possibilities to define those retries. But with the invoke pipeline, we cannot see that in the UI, at least not yet. But yeah, let's close this and remove these two activities here. And with this invoke pipeline activity, we are actually going to run this other pipeline that has this fail activity inside of it. So this pipeline will fail every time we try to run it. But yeah, let's try to run this and let's see that our configuration works. So let's hit run. And now I'm actually going to skip a little bit forward because this will take some time to run that pipeline. And now our pipeline run is done and it failed, but we can see that it tried to run that invoke pipeline activity two times. So the retry logic actually works, even though we cannot define it via the UI yet. And I hope that Microsoft will add those UI elements there in the near future so that we can define this retry logic to the invoke pipeline activity via the UI. Also, it would be very nice to see this same functionality in the Azure Data Factory, since I have been hoping to have this functionality there for years now. But yeah, it's very cool to see that in Fabric at least this is already possible via the JSON code. If you would like to learn more about the data pipeline tool in Max Fabric, check out my three hour long data pipeline masterclass to get really started with this tool. But now I thank you for watching and see you in the next video.